Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got from a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> what I got for mostly my birthday haul, um, the Sephora VIB 15% off sale and the Ulta 20% off sale. I want to say and then I also have some stuff that was sent to me and then the stuff that I picked up from Mac so let's just jump into everything because there is a lot of shit. so I'll start with Ulta uh, I got sucked into benefits five times the points promotion and if I've already shown this I'll just cut it future me uh, I don't think I have though so I picked up the professional matte rescue primer. It's supposed to be just like the professional, which I love, but a little bit more matte. I haven't really tested this a bunch because I've been using other primers that I love. So I'll be trying it out and letting you know what I think. I also picked up this. It's a liquid blush, which I thought was kind of weird. It's called Dandelion Dew. It comes in a really cute bottle because it's Benefit. So it's essentially a liquid blush and you pump it out just like you would any other. Uh, that was way too much. And then you just, and you're supposed to just work it in like a normal blush. Very subtle, very light. It wouldn't work for anybody with a deeper skin tone than mine, I don't think. Maybe a shade or two darker, but I don't think really deep skin tones would benefit from this product. Let's see what I did there. The last thing I picked up from Benefit is the Major at Blush. It comes in a really cute carton box and it's just a very pretty peach blush. So I feel like it's actually more orange than it is peach. It's not even subtle peach, it's straight up orange. And I've always wanted this. It's a really nice cream to powder formula and I figured it'd be really nice for summertime. I love my core blushes in the summertime. Hopefully this looks really nice. I'm just now realizing I was actually on kind of a blush kick. I picked up the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani blush palette on sale, which for the last day of 21 Days of Beauty, they had this off on $22.50 and I used my 20% off coupon and my like $9 in rewards on this and it ended up being like $9, $10 which was amazing so it comes with 6 blushes comes with 6 blushes here, 2 pinks, 2 kind of corals this one is really really similar Wait, is it this one? No. It's this one. This one is super similar to the new highlighter that Urban Decay just came out with that I think it's called Aura. The one that has a pink peach duochrome. It's really pretty. Super nice to get it for $9. And then I also picked up the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade That Glow. So it comes with four shades, two of which are pretty much indistinguishable to me. I, I mean, I think we could have done without one of these because they're pretty much the same color uh, and then two really cool ones I really like this yellow one it's very nice and shiny and then the bronze is great for deeper skin tones and a really important side note of these is not only are they magnetized so you can pop them out I mean theoretically you can pop them out and you can pop them in a Z palette but they're also labeled they're labeled because Anastasia is a good person. Last haul, but I hadn't shown them to you, so I figured I would do that. I picked up melted chocolate cherries and melted metallic chocolate diamonds, which sounds like it was named by a seven-year-old or Jerry Blandino's Chihuahua. That's what they look like. They smell heavily, heavily of chocolate, like like chocolate candy. Like no, it smells like. It smells exactly like, oh, what are they called? Tootsie Rolls. It smells exactly like Tootsie Rolls. They're really pretty colors, so pick those up. Then I also picked up a little set from Becca. So it's a set that came with two powders and two liquid products. The powders were the, let's see what this one is, Opal Highlighter, which is a cult favorite. It's very, very nice and shiny. You can see that. <laughs> So a mini of that, a mini of their blush in Flower Child, 
large yellow, so it's a really pretty peach. A really pretty peach shade, and that's opal down here. And then it also came with a mini shimmering skin perfector in opal, and then a mini of their backlight foundation primer. So that was a good deal to get. And then the last thing I picked up is one of the new pure eye polish base and top coats. Now, I have a lot to say about these. They are supposed to be like a netting system for the eyeshadow, but as you can see, I tore that off because, I mean, I've used this three times, and I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to bring you in. So if you can see that, there's that gap towards the end of the eyeshadow, towards the bottom. And there was no way to get this product out through a net. The consistency of this product does not lend itself to a netting system. It just doesn't. So if you can see, got it on the back of my nail here. I'll put it on the back of my hand. This is the color satin, which is really pretty. So, as you can see here, hopefully. So this is a product. You can see it's a cream. It's straight up a cream product. So I don't see why they would put a netting on a cream product. Nets are for... Nets are very similar in design to... Let me zoom you back out. Nets are very similar in design to cushions in the sense that they're, ba they're made to be used with liquids, with things that are very watery, with things that need some kind of stopper to keep them in the container. And I just don't see what purpose other than gimmicky sales techniques could be behind putting a netting system on a cream eyeshadow. It was ridiculous for me to have to stab it with a brush just to get the bristles all the way down to the bottom of the pot to get any sort of product out. And it's ridiculous. It's so gimmicky. And I just, I don't recommend you buy any of them. Not necessarily because they're not super great. And that color in particular is very similar to Max. Vintage Selection Paint Pot. So just get your flipping pot. It's way better. They're cheaper by like five or six dollars. And they're just way better. I just don't, I don't like this sort of sales tactics. I also randomly saw these literally in the checkout line at Marshalls. They're two of the Stila, what are they called? Like Magnificent Metal Lip Gloss or something. And they were five dollars. So I was like, yes please. I got the color Pink Sapphire and Citrine. So this is Pink Sapphire, Citrine. And these remind me a lot of the MAC Dazzle Glasses, which is why I bought them in the first place, because Dazzle Glasses are my favorite glosses in existence. Like, they're just... MAC's Dazzle Glasses are forever in my heart. And they just discontinue my favorite color, which is Moth to Flame. And there's no word for how betrayed. <laughs> I feel by that that it was my favorite gloss of all time. These have a very heavy, like, ugh. I have a very heavy, like, coconut candy. Like, if you're from Latin, Central, South America, they smell like cocadas, which is like a coconut candy. It's exactly what they smell like, actually. They smell like cocadas. So this is pink sapphire and this is a tree. It's exactly what they smell like. Now I won't be so grossed out. I also picked up another Kylie lip kit. This is the Court K color, which is a nice burgundy. The only complaint I have about her stupid lip kits is that the pencils are impossible to sharpen. I've sharpened this once and look how tiny it is now. And then I don't know if you can tell, but this has been like slipping out. It's just, I don't know. There's just no excuse when you're multi-millionaire there's no excuse for your product to be like this so there's that and then court k is actually a really nice color i was kind of worried about her doing a deeper lip just because a dark color is a it's a more difficult it's a more difficult formula to nail down there's a lot of wear issues and application issues to take into consideration this is court k and court k liner which is identical to Be Note by MAC and Court K is very, 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 very similar to Viva Glam Ariana Grande or Viva, yeah, Viva Glam Ariana Grande 
or Instigator by MAC. The only thing I will say is that this particular color doesn't layer as well as the other lip kits. So if you eat something oily or it just starts to wear off on the inside of, of your lip and you reapply, it'll kind of ball up in a little sticky ball and it's not very comfortable. So you have to kind of take it all off and reapply, which is a bit of a drag. Let's see. These two things were sent to me as samples from an influencer to try out. They're the SK2 Beauty, no, SK2. These are SK2 skincare products. So this is a, a Japanese brand built around the main ingredient, basically, of sake, which is kind of odd to think about. Um, but I'll do a video about these two in particular because there's a lot more to be said about the, the main active ingredient in these. That I got a fa facial treatment essence, which I've been using morning and night for about a week now, and I really, really like it. It's a nice, um, I would say it's a toner. Like, it's a very nice, just calming essence. I don't know. It's nice. And then the other thing I got is a facial treatment mask. So I'm actually going to try to try this on camera so I can show you what it looks like. It's a one-time use, so I don't want to use it and then just tell you about it. I want to show you. Even though it's not in special packaging, 100% of the sales price, not proceeds, not... Uh, profits, not percentage, 100% of the sales price, meaning the $17 that I paid for this, goes to the MAC AIDS Fund Transgender Initiative. So that's just an awesome cause. You can read more about it at uh, macaidsfund.com, I want to say. I'll link it in the down bar, but it's a gorgeous, like, dusty rose cream machine. So this is finally free. It's a gorgeous color. Regardless of what you may think about Caitlyn Jenner, I'm not particularly her biggest fan just because she's not, I don't know, the words transphobic and racist and sexist come to mind, but that's another video for another time. Regardless of whether or not you support or agree with all of Caitlyn Jenner's views, representation for the transgender community is extremely important in media and the beauty industry for a very specific, you know, group of transgender individuals. And it's just really great that they're getting this recognition and um, exposure, visibility. It's, it's a really great cost too. The next color I picked up is Mac and Halsey. Halsey, I think she says it. Mac and Halsey. So it's a gray lipstick right here. This is MAC Halsey, which I, it looks kind of similar to Melt Space Cake, but since I don't have it to compare, I can't say. I will tell you it's a lot lighter and less blue than NYX Stone Fox. And it's way, 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 way more blue and cool toned than MAC Stone. Stone is very warm. And then I picked up a mineral skin finish from their future MAC collection. This is Other Earthly. And this is a gorgeous powder with three separate colors. This one's kind of like a pinky beige duochrome. Look gorgeous together and then, well yeah, they look gorgeous separate and then gorgeous together. Beautiful mist skin finish. I'm actually wearing it on my cheekbones today. And I'm a sucker for limited edition mineralized skin finishes. And then, this other stuff that I'm kind of collecting is what I picked up from the VIB 15% off sale. So I'll start with skincare. I ran out of my Clinique moisturizer and I had just finished a sample of this Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream that my friend Vonda sent me. So I picked up the full size of it just because it's very calming, very rich, and it doesn't feel heavy, it absorbs quickly, and it just smells nice, and it's everything a face cream should be. And I really like it. So I picked up a bottle of that, or a jar. And then I picked up a set from Sunday Riley, it's the Luna and Good Jeans set. So Luna is a sleeping night oil meant for repair, reduction of pore size, um, tons of other stuff. Appearance of damaged skin, fighting wrinkles, everything. This is amazing. It's a little blue gel, um, which is kind of odd when you first look at it. It's actually blue. And you're supposed to massage it into your skin until it turns clear. It's very rich, it feels very nice on your skin, it's a great way to finish your day. And then the other thing that it comes with, it's a Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. This brightens, exfoliates, plumps, lines, evens, 
hyperpigmentation and increases circulation for instant radiance. This stuff is amazing. It's so good. Like, I've been using it for about a week now, and my skin just feels nicer. It feels... It, I hate to use their words, but it does feel more plump. It feels like my pores have decreased ridiculously in size. Like, they're super tiny. I used to have, like, huge pores right around here and on my nose. They've gotten so small. They're still, they're, they're still apparent, but they've gotten really, really small. The only thing I will say is that this is going to burn the first few times you use it. It hasn't burned on me the last couple times I used it, so this morning and last night. But... Especially if you have any broken skin, if you have any blemishes that um, maybe you popped. I see you. I do it too. If you have anything like that, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. So it's also a good um, incentive not to touch my face throughout the day because then I know that when I put this on at night, it's going to hurt like a mother. Points. I picked up the Ole Ole. I think it's Ole Her Henriksen. Uh, skincare set comes with the African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser, which I haven't tried. The Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask, which I've tried and it's nice. It's a little coarse for my liking, but it's nice. The Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil and the Truth Serum Collagen Booster, which I love. And I use both of these in the morning. They're both orange and they make your face smell like orange Pez. I picked up two of the new Kat Von D Shade & Light palettes. I've picked up Rust and Plum. I'm wearing Plum on my eyes today with a NARS eyeshadow in the middle. So this is what Rust looks like and this is what Plum looks like. They're very pretty. The only thing I will say is that I used Plum today and it was super powdery. Like I don't even, I don't know why because I have other Kat Von D eyeshadows that are not that powdery. So this is Plum. That is rust right there. This orange color to die for. This purple color to die for. I also picked up a few Makeup Forever eyeshadows. So I picked up... I don't remember the names of them, so I'll insert them here. But I picked up basically this color here, which is a beautiful like peachy gold. I picked up this crystalline pink, I think it's called. It's like an iridescent pink. And then a mermaid green, which is like... sex noises for this eyeshadow. The three colors I picked, they're all three of them are super pigmented. That green though. So I got that. And then I also picked up one of the new Laura Mercier highlighting powders in the shade Devotion, which is a nice kind of iridescent pink, I'd say. It's very pale. Um, wouldn't work with for anyone with a really dark skin tone, I don't think. But they also have a bronze and a gold, so inclusive. It's the color right here. It's very nice, actually. It's got a bit of a pink reflect to it, which is nice. I picked up two items from CoverFX. One of them is my Holy Grail, like, product. This is the Cover Drops in the shade G40. I use them for foundations that are a little too light or too sheer for me. They're amazing. If you haven't tried them, go get a sample because they're fantastic. And then I picked up the peach shade of the Click Sticks. And I mostly use this around my under eyes and then on a couple of the acne spots. This, this one's peeking out. A couple of acne scars that I have around my face. Really pretty. I don't know if you want to see a swatch of that, but if you do, there it is. It's the peach shade on NC20 skin. Because I need more concealing in my life. I like it best when I can conceal heavily and then do a light wash of foundation that to me just looks more natural. So I picked up the Makeup Forever Concealing 5 Camouflage Cream Palette. This is number 2. I thought it would be dark enough for me, but it's a little light. Like, these colors are still pretty fair. Um... I mostly use this yellow over here and then the purple again on spots where I have a little bit of acne scarring and it's a little dull. Kind of lightens up my skin. They're very nice and emollient. They're very creamy and pigmented so they work really nicely. They crease a lot under the eyes though so I would not use them underneath your eyes. Like, don't do it. Holy Grail Concealer for underneath my eyes for highlighting. This is the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. It's just, it's fabulous. It's amazing. If you, want, if you don't have it, go get it. Then I picked up a Sephora Cream Lip Stain, I think they call these things. Yeah, Cream Lip Stain, even though it's technically just a, a liquid lipstick. 
This is the shade Peach Tart, which is a really nice like orange creamsicle Coachella color. That is Peach Tart. And this is the Peach Corrector. Um, because I'd seen Naked Tutorials use it a bunch and I thought it'd be really good. Turns out the color was just way too light for me and I didn't want to go through the trouble of like pinpointing my shade in a range of like six. It's a Sephora purchase online and you don't want to go through the trouble of mailing it back. You can take it to a store and they will accept it. They have to take it. It's in their policy. Take it back to the store. They'll give you your money back if it's within 60 days or they'll exchange it or do whatever they you want them to do. So I took it back and the only thing I got with the money from that foundation was a new brow whisk. So I was running out. Ebony is my shade. Perfect brows every time. And then finally, the last thing, save the best for last, the P.S. de Resistance. I did it. This is the matte Christian Louboutin lipstick in the shade Rouge Louboutin. Beautiful blood red. It's a beautiful, completely matte blood red that I absolutely love. It's just Can I? Is that too much? Maybe. That's the last thing. It's beautiful. It comes in a beautiful case. I'm sure you've seen it. It comes with a little chiffon sleeve to carry it in your purse, which is very chic. But that is everything. The dogs are demanding to be walked. You can see her right there. That is it. I'm going to go walk them before they become... before they revolt. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.